Hey, it's Sally, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the exact formula in Excel, and this is Excel 2016, and we're going to use it to compare two sets of numbers. So in this example, I have an old item number with a new item number, and for whatever reason, maybe I need to know if which ones have been updated and which ones haven't. Now, I could go through and individually compare them, but I'm not going to make it very far because that's pretty tedious. So that's not something I want to do. And it's a lot more efficient and accurate to actually use a formula rather than rely on my uh, fairly poor vision. So what we're going to do is I'm going to, so we want to just start with these first two numbers. I'm going to click here in the cell next to them. And then I'm going to go up to formulas or you can click on this as well, but we're going to go to formulas and we're going to go to text and then click on exact. So as you hover over each of these formulas, a tooltip is going to pop up explaining what they are. Uh, sometimes it's confusing, but, uh, but there's so many handy formulas, so it takes some time to, to check them out. So we're going to click on exact. And all we have to do is select the first set of text and the second set of text to compare. So I'm going to click here and see that brings up A2 or I could just type in A2 and then the second one is going to be B2 so I can click here or I can type it in so when they match uh, the statement true is going to show up if they don't match it'll come up as false so I'm going to click OK so now to copy these to the rest I can either uh, copy and paste this down or this handy trick so see how my cursor is the big white plus sign so I'm going to hold it over this corner here where this little box is and you see it turns into the the skinny black plus sign so I'm going to left click on it hold down and just drag this box down so this is going to copy the formula to each line see that would be a lot of work to do so as we scroll up we can now see which items are which items match and which don't so what we might want to do here so say I need to let um, let my team know you know maybe out in the warehouse like hey these items need to be renumbered just these ones don't worry about these other ones so what I typically like to do is I like to copy this and then I like to paste uh, just the values so because otherwise uh, I'll jump in here real quick. See, you can see it's just a formula in here. So that could mess up what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to just paste values and escape to deselect that. So now you see the answers are in here. So then what I'll do is I'm going to click up here in this left hand corner to select everything. And then I want to go up to, uh, to data and then sort. I'm not going to click on this one because I want to sort by this third column. So I want to just sort in order which ones are true, which ones are false. So I'm going to select column C since I don't have a header there. And so I can see that these items, since it says false, that they don't match. So then I could just copy and send this list of just these ones which is quite a few so 66 of them or 65 uh, are are changed so you can use this for for whatever text or numbers whatever you have maybe you want to compare names or you've got uh, item descriptions wherever you need to compare two sets of text using uh, this formula the exact formula again formulas tab text uh, function library and then go down to exact so that is where you access it that's how you compare two sets of text please don't do this manually it's way too much work when it's so easy to do it this way so again thank you so much for uh, watching this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thanks for tuning in have a great day